Block Streams CEO Adam Black believes he made a bet recently that he believes that Bitcoin will hit 100,000 before the halving in 2024. And that's only six months away. Six months away. He believes that we will be at 100,000 before April of 2024. Is he going to be right? We have seen many, many prominent people make really big, bold predictions. We had what? The CTO, the ex-CTO of Coinbase say a million dollars in you know three months, which I said was not going to happen. But it caused a lot of people to be to get quite excited, right? So this time around, can this happen? It's, it's a possibility. Now, the biggest reason why he thinks this will happen is because of Bitcoin ETFs, okay? Bitcoin ETFs, spot ETFs has never ever existed before. And we have a really good shot of having like eight or nine of them be approved right before the halving event, which can bring billions upon billions upon billions of liquidity into this space, right? In fact, speaking of those nine, we will have another deadline. The ARC one, kind of like we just kind of rolled past it, right? So the 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 ARC one, uh, we're looking at a third deadline. But if you're looking at all the other ones, like the one from BlackRock, for example, we're going to get a deadline next early, early September, September second, right? And you can see we have BlackRock, Bitwise, Van Eyck, Wisdom Tree, Investo Galaxy, Fidelity, and Valkyrie. Right, their fur deadlines are coming up. So if ARC gets approved in January, all those other ones will be approved in January too. If the ARC one gets denied, not all hope is lost because then we have the BlackRock one that's coming up in March. So all of those are right before, right before the having event. Well, Bitcoin is mimicking this pattern from 2020 and it's a very good one okay so the pattern is the daily chart the rsi is extremely 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 low it shows that bitcoin is oversold in fact it's even it, it even ties to the rsi to oversold level of covid crash march of 2020 so we have to go back what is that? Three and a half years. To me, the COVID crash still seems like it was like literally last year. It's amazing that it's been three and a half years because I remember that crash vividly. Okay. When we were coming up from bottom of 3,100, you know, we rose up to about 14,000. We came back down a little bit to about maybe 10, 11,000, and boom, we went from. 11,000 down to 3,800 in a matter of, what, two days? Because everyone was scared about what was happening with COVID and lockdowns and everything, right? So think about how scary that moment was. And Bitcoin was below 4,000 at that point, right? So from a, from a oversold level, right now, we are equaling that. That's how oversold we are. <laughs> Despite the fact, yeah, we had Luna, Celsius, FTX, collapse right we've recovered from the bottom of 15,000 we're at 26,000 now which is not optimal it's lower than our low you know previous high or local high of 31,000 yes but if you think about it man it's quite amazing quite amazing how far Bitcoin has come right and we are now at the same oversold level as March of 2020 so if you're waiting for a buying opportunity, if you've been sitting on the sidelines thinking that, yeah, I'm going to wait for better prices, okay? This is one of those one of those times. It's confirmation that this is a pretty darn good time to be accumulating and buying. You come here for positive news on Bitcoin. Um, and there are there's always there's always positive news. There's always hope okay for bitcoin including this one metric that bottom before 70 percent gains okay india becomes the fourth country to land on the moon 
Uh, so that's terrific. All the all the conspiracy theorists that say we did not go to the moon or ever been to the moon. Well, maybe I don't know what they're gonna say about this. Okay, so <laughs> this was done live, so that's good. But what does this have to do with Bitcoin? Well, India happens to be part of BRICS. And the BRICS summit is ongoing right now. And one of the major things that will be discussed in the summit is how to reduce the dollar reliance. Because basically right now, every country on the planet is making trades with the USD, right? Uh, USD is the reserve currency of the world and it's used for everything, buying oil and, you know, paying for, for goods and services and everything, right? International trades, also the U.S. Uh, Treasury notes and bonds, right, are held by many, many nations. Anyways, uh, the BRICS nations do not like this. There's rumors that they may even come up with their own currency, a new currency, maybe a digital currency, a CBDC, right, that the BRICS nations will use instead. So this has a lot of people worried. Now, I don't think this is going to happen anytime soon. Getting off the USD standard is going to take some time, but this could be the beginning of the end. Even Robert Kiyosaki have said this too. So there are a lot of people that are very worried, obviously, about the BRICS nations uh, coming up with something else and getting off the USD. If this is the start of the end of the USD, of course, it's a great time to be loading up on Bitcoin. But of course, there's other major things to look forward to. Odds of a SEC approving a spot Bitcoin ETF is better than 50-50, according to Marathon Digital, who is also a miner, right? But other analysts think it's way better. Could be more like 75% chance to get approval. That's also coming within the next four to five months. This time around, even though there's diminishing returns, keep in mind, here's, here's the catalyst or here's the asterisk that makes it different. We never, ever, ever in previous cycles had, first of all, spot Bitcoin ETFs in America, and we never had big, gigantic uh, powerhouses like BlackRock getting involved and causing everyone else to get FOMO too. So that's the thing. All the previous rallies were driven by retail investors and whales, but not the huge gigantic institutions that are all looking to come in. So this time around, even though everyone's predicting, yes, we'll go higher, but because of diminishing returns, because everything is a higher value right now, right? That you know, we can't possibly go at the same rate as before, but people are not calculating the trillions that could be flowing in from these big, big institutions. BlackRock alone holds over $9 trillion of assets. I mean, think about this. $300 million accumulated within a matter of basically a week. This is by the whales and sharks. This does not even include, remember recently, I just talked about some mysterious whale buying $3 billion worth of Bitcoin. This doesn't even include them. That $3 billion could be BlackRock, right? That's a true whale. But these whales and sharks also have accumulated a lot. I mean, this is all going behind the scenes. Again, if you're wondering why this is not pumping up Bitcoin's price, all behind the scenes OTC market, will not be recorded on order books. No one really sees these. Uh, you'll never see this happen over Coinbase or anything. You just see massive outflows from these exchanges because they're selling it to them, but that's it. They're not done on order book. If they were, prices would be much higher. From a technical standpoint, right before this, uh, you know, right before Jackson Hole speech, right? But if you look at it from a technical perspective, it's looking pretty good. You know, you can obviously see we're bouncing off from a RSI perspective. We're bouncing off uh, this trend line, right? Um, I mean, again, it just shows that we're, we're on track. We're on track. We're doing good things. We're doing good things. Um, and here's another one that's showing that Bitcoin breaking above the, the MA10 on a monthly scale. 
okay monthly scale so when when bitcoin does this it's usually very 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 bullish because the last two times this happened that was when bitcoin started running up in the meantime jp morgan sees limited downside for crypto markets so again people that are predicting bitcoin could go to 12,000, 10,000, whatever. Um, there's just not enough cases to support it. Okay, even JP Morgan is looking at, at the market and, is, and looking at the futures market as well and making the determination. There's just not, there's just, there's just nothing to support it. There's limited downside. And what does that mean? That means it's good time to be buying and accumulating. That's what it means, right?